Hello guys, here is my completed miner following Crypto Badge's tutorial on how to build a milk crate miner rig. I did use the uh, MSI 7950 Twin Frozer video card, but the stock fans were making the card overheat and I couldn't mine at 600 or close to 600 kilohertz per second I think that's what it's called kilohertz uh, correct me if I'm wrong but uh, I wanted to stay close to 600 and it was overheating to like 85 degrees Celsius first that it was at 90 degrees Celsius and it would shut off then I set up this stuff right here I set, I set it up like this next to the window so it's and I put this big old fan up back here which you can find at Walmart for like 15 bucks but I recommend putting it if you make one of these put it right next to the window and have it suck in fresh air from outside into the mining rig and I didn't and uh, that brought down the temperature to 83 degrees somewhere around there but that's too that's still too dangerous so then what I did is I uh, took out the stock fans like I said at this point I took out the stock fans took out the, the plastic or uh, metal cover took out the plastic fans and I rigged these fans which you can find on eBay for like 10 bucks for a set of four of them uh, I rigged these right on top of the heat sinks because this video hard card has two heat sinks and I just rigged them right on top using zip ties as you can tell right here and I gotta tell you it worked like a charm not only that I used the Arctic Silver to uh, Arctic Silver Thermal Paste Compound which I replaced the stock the factory thermal which is crap with this right here this is what I recommend you use with your card and oh it's running cherry right now I'm running this card at almost maximum core clock speed is at 10.62 and uh, memory clock speed is at 15.20 and of course I'm not using any fan speed because I'm using these custom fans here so I have that at you know at the minimum and uh, I undervolted it to 906 uh, MVs I have no idea what that stands for I'm kind of new at this but I do know that's undervolting right there and I'm using MSI afterburner for that all right and uh, so I'm the reason why I'm not using maximum maximum first is because I don't want to burn out the video card but you know I could just put it to max anyway right now because it's already almost there problem is the temperature goes up to 75 76 degrees when I put it to max where I have it right now it stays at 71 which is where I want it 71 that's perfect that's where I want it uh, overclocking could, can uh, shorten the lifespan of your video card but uh, I think with the modification I did with the custom fans and the Arctic Silver compound, I don't think it would it will really affect my video card that much after the modification. So I'm going to keep it at maximum. Hopefully, uh, it doesn't it doesn't really lower the lifespan of it. It could, but with the temperatures I'm running at, I'm pretty sure it'll stay like that. So so that's so if you build this, I recommend you did you do what I just did. All right, take out the metal piece replace the stock fans with the aftermarket ones and use arctic silver that'll really drastically lower your temperature right there now for this mining rig i'm only using one card right now and like i said i'm only pushing a 594 592 uh, kilohertz per second with that maximum it'll push 614 but like i said it'll run hotter so i'm willing to sacrifice the 14 kilohertz so I am using the AS Rock 970 Extreme 4 motherboard, which supports three PCIe um, slots. Right now I'm using one. I, I can still upgrade a, two of them. So I have plan to put one card here and another card over here. Of course, with the same modification that um, I used here. All right. I'm using only two gigs of RAM because for this type of rig, you don't need that much RAM. All you need is two gigs. All right. And I'm using just a regular hard drive will work. What I did is I just made like a custom uh, uh, bolt here to hold it on the side. And I'm using just a piece of wood to hold it on the other side right there. 
it just that keeps it pretty simple right there and the power supply I have it um, just like I have it on the video card using one of these Rubbermaid uh, closet um, ruler looking things you can find these at um, the Home Depot you know uh, places like that really easy or you can use a yardstick whatever you need but follow follow the crypto badgers uh, tutorial and they'll show you how but I'm using another one over here for the power supply now that's a 1200 watt power supply and the reason why I went with 1200 watt is because I'm gonna put two more video cards on here and I still might need another power supply for that I really don't think 1200 will actually do three of them the way I'm running uh, custom fans because it's taking extra watts correct me if I'm wrong because I will need help on that but that's pretty much it, you know, hard drive, power supply, uh, I got this uh, custom uh, power switch. What's cool about this uh, mother motherboard, it comes with its own power switch. Too. So this motherboard comes with its own power switch, but instead of reaching all the way in there, you know, I decided to use this uh, power switch here, which is hanging there for now, I guess. And that's the power switch right there. I might hide it because my little sister sometimes walks in here, that's not good. All right. So, uh, what I also did, as you notice, I don't have a keyboard or a mouse. What I did is I used TeamViewer. And I could actually control my computer from my phone. I could see what uh, clock speeds I'm running. I can, if the miner goes bad or it goes offline, I can always open it from the shortcut right here on the desktop. So I basically use my phone or my laptop to control this miner remotely. So I'm not using a keyboard or a mouse. So that's the cool thing about uh, TeamViewer. So I recommend using TeamViewer for you to do remote control. So when I'm at work, I can check every hour on my miner rig, make sure it's online, making me money because you know um, if it's offline, you know that's bad. So that's cool. I can check it from my phone. That's awesome. Alright, so that's pretty much it for my rig. I am going to add two more cards, like I said, pretty soon. Uh, the way profits are going right now, when the market um, difficulty level is going really high, really fast. So I'm still debating over getting two more cards because I don't know if I'll make my money back at this point. Uh, the way this miner rig is sitting right now, it's making 60 bucks a month, which pays my internet bill, which I don't mind. Uh, of course, elect you got to you got to actually um, think about electric costs too, which I barely started. I'll get back to you guys on an update about electric costs once a month passes by. All right, I'll, I'll be up to date with you guys. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, go ahead and comment on the comment section of the video. And have a good rest of your day.